So the I got I was in Australia on an NXT tour, and I got a call, and the story out there, and, and it's probably uh, there's probably some truth to it. I, 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 again, I I don't care, nor do does it matter to me, because I don't live in the gossip and nonsense world, and the tabloid world of wrestling. I don't care. I'm working for the company I work for. I know what's what's in plan, and I know what I've been working on. No different than how I can pull. I could pull together certain things that I knew at any time in my job in in WWE in talent development, and Canyon Seaman knew, and Kristen Altman knew, and sometimes Paul Fair knew, and sometimes. Cammy Levin knew that we could get told, right, we want this doing and we need it doing yesterday. And the four of us had, we were ready for anything because it was all about network things at the time. Right? It was all about before the network was sold. It was all about selling the network, right, right, to a worldwide audience. Now I know that doesn't make for a juicy story, and I know that doesn't make for gossip, and I know that doesn't make for disgruntled wrestlers who who only look at it from their point of view. But I know, right. And now I don't know because I'm not there. Right. And as much as people might not want to believe that, I have no conversations because I'm not working there anymore. Right? Well, so, well, I think people who listen to podcasts can believe that you don't butt your nose in. You don't. Right. You don't look to find out what the latest is and what 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 the scuttlebutt is. You like you say you do you, and right now where you are what your job is is not that job and it's it's and it's not my job it's, it's no concern of yours and somebody else you don't, else's, you don't yeah, make it yeah. one and good luck to him because <laughs> believe me that was a lot of lot of stuff to take on and, and of course For, you, to, to make sure that you knew that you knew what everything that's what our job was that the, the group that i've just mentioned our, our job was to know what was going on every single place in the world in case we got dropped with a, another a, right cruiserweight right. classic, or right. a May Young, or yeah. a you had to be ready. You had, had to be you ready. Had to have, you had and the, the only reason I, I was ready because we'd done our homework. Instead of sitting around gossiping and doing nonsense and talking a lot of bollocks, basically, as which most people do, we were prepared. And we pulled things off that couldn't have been pulled off by anybody else. And I don't care who they are, right? And they can all BS themselves about who they, they are and what they can do. They couldn't have pulled off what we pulled off at short, short notice with, with what we did. Well, let's right? talk, a, well, let's talk so, about what... Uh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. No. But I'm well, I was going to talk about the... Let's talk about what you did. You know, you guys put together um, a tournament. Right. But, so I was in, like, can I just finish this sure. train of thought? Please? Absolutely. You know, I, please don't think I'm ever butting in. It's just that. You don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose the, the right. train of thought. So I was in, 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 in Australia on an NXT tour. And I get a call. And it doesn't matter what else was going on. And, and, and people say, oh, well, this will, this is this and this and that. And this. I got a call. Can you cut the tour short? And can you be in London in two days? And we, we're doing a, a UK tour in a month. Can you get, I think it was 20 odd fellas I had to get together, but 16 fellas um, or, or whatever it was, I had. Can you get them together and be at the O2 in London to do a press conference? And it's going to be in Blackpool in a, in a month. 
And I stood outside the building by the bus that we should have been, I should have been getting on to go back to the hotel, calling people. And there's enough people that were in that that can tell you that calling people from Australia. Can you look, I have no idea what this is going to be fellas, but can you please be in London? And they all turned up and I couldn't have been any prouder of all of them because not only did they turn up, they turned up suited and booted, looking like Peaky Blinders, <laughs> looking like the, the the business, right, right, all right. looking like pros and looking and and we did that. Now, can you, if you did that, hurry? Did the ITV World of Sport thing hurry that up? Maybe, possibly, good chance it did, but. You can't pull that. I'm telling you, it happened in two days. Mm. Right? And I was in Australia, and I did all, all, the, all the groundwork on that. I got everybody together. Wow. Because in 2016, I went over to England, and I heard about, you know, because I've always had a passion for British wrestling. We've talked about on this show that in 1992, I got offered the money to start a wrestling promotion in Britain and to do everything right. I just didn't need it, right? But that could have happened then because I didn't like the way that promoters were treating wrestlers. So whatever we say from now onwards, I just want people to know this. 